But I want to thank you for tuning in once again to another episode of Elevate. Um, today I'm going to talk about something inspired by the Ignite the Fire Junior High Leaders in Training Seminar uh, held at Victory Outreach Eagle Rock this past Monday, the 27th. Um, Danny Laura, Evangelist Danny Laura, our international junior higher overseer, was sharing his heart about what type of things a junior higher le leader needs to possess, some practical aspects of the leader, and he also shared uh, something very important, and it was the ideal to just do it, just start a junior high ministry. And so I'm going to labor a little bit on that and just share kind of what he shared. And in case you guys are interested or if you guys want to go to the next training, the Ignite the Fire, it's going to be held at the same location, Victory Outreach Eagle Rock, but it's going to be on May the 16th and then also June 20th, okay? So May 16th, June 20th, make sure you be a part of that. But um, back onto the training. You know, what does it mean? What does it mean to start a junior high ministry? You know, what? what's involved and what is it going to take to start it, to kickstart, to revive a junior high ministry? Do you want to know what's going to take? It's going to take a youth leader that is determined and has a burden for junior hires. A youth leader that says, you know what? I'm going to just start. I may not have all the equipment. Hey, I might not even have a room, but I'm going to start. You know, a lot of people, they send emails and they say, you know what? I don't, you know, I don't have a, a room. You know, what do I do? You know, I, I, what do I do? How do I have services? How do I get started? I want to start my junior high ministry, but I don't have everything I need. And you know what? Daniel Laura was sharing this past weekend at Ignite the Fire. He was saying, you know what? Just do it. Just start. You're not going to learn. You're not going to get going. You're not going to develop unless you just jump in there and you start. And so junior high leaders out there, just start. You know, if, if you start off with just a Bible study, if you start off with once a week meeting with four junior hires, then nonetheless, that is four junior hires whom needs are being met on a weekly basis. You, need, you can't just re rely, you can't assume that these junior hires are being fed what needs to be fed to them. You can't assume that, that, that they're hearing things that directly involve what they go through in junior high. So, leader, youth leader, regional, whoever you are, know that it's really important to just start up your junior high ministry. Start it. Kickstart it. And if you're a leader or you're a youth leader, you're the, you're the regional, then just, just delegate. Make someone start. Challenge a leader that, you know, it says, you know, I feel called to, to be a pastor. I feel called to be a shepherd. There's no other ministry that you're going to get the most experience in than junior high ministry. Because it's there you learn how to deal with personality types. You get to learn how to deal with people, how to communicate, how to work with parents, how to fundraise. You are a church within a church within a church. And so if you feel called to the mission field, if you feel called to take a city, you know what? God has given you an opportunity there at your local church to start now. Get a group of junior hires. Get a group of them. Round to talk to your pastor and say there's a need. There's a need at my church. There's a need at my church. I got to start this junior high ministry. There's kids and you know what? They, they get tempted at school and, 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 and they, they, they start having sex at a young age and they're getting high at a young age. You know what, pastor? Something needs to be done. You know what, youth leader? You could do it. You could do it. You're more than able. You might say, you know what? I don't got it all together. How am I going to start? Just do it. Just get in there and do it. Just get in there and start. Just get in there and pray. Begin to pray. God, say, God, give me insight on how to feed this, these young people. Give me insight. Show me what they're going through. Show me what things they deal with. And God will openly pour out wisdom for anyone that asks. And so I just want to challenge you guys to read it. You know, Matthew 18 and Isaiah 40, verse 11. And different scriptures and different scriptures that, that point to the, to the young person. And, and, I, and I thank God, you know, I thank God. And, and if, you, if you guys ever need anything, junior high leaders, youth leaders, I am available. I don't have much to offer, but what I have, I give. What I have, I give. And you know what, I, I have such a heart for this generation. And, and you know, being, being able to be close to Evangelist Danny Laura, it's such a blessing. Such a blessing I get to be at the same church. And, you know, and, and I don't take it lightly. I don't take it lightly. And so if you guys ever need anything, you know, I... I 
you know, we're here, we're here, we're here, we're holding it down, we're here. You, you're not alone, a person on the other side of the world in another city laboring and toiling and the kids aren't listening or they're throwing papers at you while you're speaking. You're not alone. Let me say it again. You're not alone. You're not alone. So keep holding it down. Stay faithful, stay committed, and God is going to raise you up. God's going to give you your own city, your own shepherd's field, and God is going to bless you over and abundant. Amen. Hallelujah. Peace out. Stay tuned for another episode of Elevate.